Today is May the 2nd, 2023. We'll call the order by the meeting for the State's Board Mayor and City Council. We will have our invocation of Pledge of Allegiance by Council Member John Wiggs. Um, I'd like to ask uh, Alan Muldrew if he can give the invocation to please. Sure will. Thank you, Heavenly Father, we uh, come before you today. Lord, I know you say when we come with requests that we pay that in Thanksgiving, Lord. And so we want to be start this day off thankful that we had a good morning, that we're able to assemble, Lord, that we live in this nation. And Lord, that you bless us with good servant leaders, Lord, that we have, and a staff in this city that works hard, Lord. May you bless them. We're grateful that we can even come in this council and pray, Lord, where it's not possible in many places. So, Lord, we are grateful and thankful that... Uh, You'll continue to guide and direct us, Lord, and you said that to seek you for wisdom, Lord. So on behalf of our city and council, Lord, that you pray that you bring them wisdom and harmony, Lord, and that we will know that uh, each morning we have a responsibility to be a light and salt to the earth. And I just pray that your blessings will come on uh, this community in Jesus' name. Now to agenda item three, recognitions and public presentations. Uh, agenda item three A is recognition of the 30th anniversary of the city of states for participation in the Tree City USA program and presentation of a flag by the Georgia Forestry Commission recognizing the city's participation in the Tree City USA program. Do we have our members? Good morning, Mayor and Council, Robert Siemens, Georgia Forestry Commission, Southeast Georgia, Urban and Community Forestry Specialist. Mayor, it is definitely an honor today to be back here in front of y'all again. Long time no see. And uh, it does my heart good to see that the city of Statesboro is taking serious their tree canopy. This, this past year marked our 30th year anniversary and I was proud to see when everything was submitted and we finally got the recognition back from the Arbor Day Foundation that City of Statesboro did qualify or requalify as their 30th year anniversary. Mm -hmm. Today, sir, I would like to uh, honor City of Statesboro by presenting the City of Statesboro, the staff, and the tree board with their 30, 30th year commemorative for flag. Jim, can you step more into a window? Like part of your face is covered. <laughs> um, yep. 
Stand on your tippy toes, Jim. Yeah, stand on your tippy toes. Way too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Do one with a flash as well. One, two, three. We'll move down to agenda item 3B, and this is a recognition of Wesley Parker, uh, the former chair of the City of Statesboro Tree Board. Uh, we want to thank him for his 13 years of exemplary, vol exemplary volunteerism and, and leadership. Um, today, the city would like to recognize Wesley Parker, former chair of the City of Statesboro Tree Board, for his 13 years of exemplary volunteerism and service. West Parker began to give service to the Tree Board in 2011. During his years of service, Wesley worked on various tree projects, helped enforce the city ordinance, and led the Tree Board as chair beginning in 2017. The City of Statesboro Tree Board, City staff, and Mayor and Council would like to thank Wesley for his commitment, leadership, and genuine passion for the local community, all of which have left a lasting impression on the Tree Board and the City of Statesboro. I, Jonathan McCullough, Mayor of the City of Statesboro, do hereby present an award of service to Wesley Parker for his 13 years of dedicated service to the Tree Board and to the City of Statesboro. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mr. Parker, if you will. <laughs> We're doing this formal, but if you guys know, know Wesley, Wesley never help you do anything if it's good, so. <laughs> <laughs> Council, just wanted to say a few brief words about trees and tree board. Well, I've come up here several times to talk about Arbor Day, and we've talked a lot about Arbor Days. We've talked about a lot of the projects we've done together, and want to thank you for sending us good staff. That's that's number one. Uh, John Washington support the, the, the program. Richard and Richard have planted a lot of trees. Amanda has a lot of energy. Y'all just need to turn them loose. Turn them loose. And I, of all the of all the uh, cities we work with, or I work with as an engineer, we work for a lot of towns. The city of Statesboro plants more trees per employee than any than any other town, any other city. And I just think they could, if you just get them one more employee, they could plant a lot more. <laughs> they, they, they're doing a good job. They're doing a very good job. I just want you to know that they're doing a good job for you. Um, we'll talk about the, the, you know, we planted a lot of trees, us together. Um, at schools, Maddie Lively, Sally Z, the trails, the library, the post office, botanical gardens, a lot of the um, boulevards and streets. You know, all of that's good and all of that's great, but what you do best is keep that tree ordinance going because what these guys can plant is, is, is a big portion, another big portion is the trees that the commercial developers plant. And we've um, talked about a lot of the you know, over the years we've talked about the good things about what trees can do, and we've talked a lot about trees, but at the end of the day, let's look at trees, and let's look and look and see the difference. And if you ever, and, and it's so important to keep that ordinance going. And if, and, and, and if you run the ordinance, you gotta be, it's a balancing act, because if you make the ordinance too strict, you get a lot of backlash, and we've tried to keep it right in the, in the middle where people, come and plant trees and if you want to know how it's working go to go to the old Walmart and then go to the new Walmart <laughs> <laughs> and, 
and then you'll see the difference. Go to the, go to the mall, and then go to Publix. That's there's your answer. So anyway, I've enjoyed it, and, and hope you can keep supporting the ordinance and supporting the staff, and you have. And I and I just hope that we can we can keep moving forward. Thank you. We want the council to come get a photo with you. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, um, Councilor Riggs, we want that side. Come in here with us. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. All right, so one, two, three. One, two, three. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Hmm? Oh. With the council? Hmm? With the council? Oh, no, it was. Council meetings, council minutes, and executive session meeting meetings minutes from um, April the 18th. Is there a minute, motion to approve? So Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. All right. We move back to agenda item six, which is consideration of a motion to approve resolution 2023-21, a resolution responding to service delivery strategies amendment request made by Bullock County. Mr. Payne, can you give us a little bit of insight, you and Kane, if you will? Yes, Mayor, members of the council, uh, I think it's probably about six weeks ago you received a request from the chairman of the county commission for an amendment to the SDS. Uh, the SDS was adopted and approved, was approved in 2019. Uh, at the last meeting, I shared some information with you, and I want to just correct that information that uh, the SDS has already been approved by uh, the other municipalities in uh, Bullock County, and it is my understanding uh, that at least one other community has not approved SDS as of yet, and probably will not until after our second meeting in, in May. This SDS um, is required in order for the county to be able to begin operating or working on their utility uh, district in the southeastern part of uh, Bullock County. Uh, and so the resolution that we present to you uh, is a little bit different from what the county submitted to us. Uh, the county submitted some maps, uh, and the maps that they submitted uh, are completely, are a little bit contrary to the conversation that we had with the county uh, on November 29th at the joint meeting. Um, at that meeting, we identified 
uh, infrastructure plans that we would like. Uh, and we discussed with the county what their infrastructure plan was. Uh, and at that time, the, the, the discussion indicated that the water district probably would be from exit 132 to 137. Uh, but the maps that we received extend from 132 all the way to 127. Uh, and 127 would be the uh, I-67, Highway 67, and the I-16 corridor. Uh, and in our discussion, the, I've been in Statesboro for, for four years. Uh, and in my first trip into Statesboro, uh, 67 was under construction. Uh, and at that time, and again, I wasn't here, but I know that there was some interest on some of the council members' part to extend our infrastructure to 67, down 67 to I-16. Uh, in the history of the city of Statesboro and Bull Bullock County, we have extended our infrastructure down 301 to I-16. That infrastructure being extended down to uh, I-16 has resulted in basically an economic and industrial boom for Bullock County and the city of Statesboro. Um, the Bruchon Park, uh, that that is evidence of, of our collaboration with the county uh, to the fact that the Bruchon Park is completely full. So the next course would meet would the next logical step would seem to mean that in, in extending our infrastructure it would, it would go down 67 and I-16. The maps that the county has uh, provided basically would prevent the city from going down to I-16. We, in, in their maps, they would show us going down to a point on, I, on US, on Highway 67, and then we would stop it just before you get to the Denmark area. Uh, and so, in looking at the, the, um, um, the SDS, again, the city of Statesboro is not opposed to um, um, the county operating the water system. Our research indicates that counties are getting into the business of a water system. But one thing we do want to be clear about, when, when providing the SDS and providing those maps, it's easier to expand the district than it is to start out large and then contract the district. Because basically what you've done is you've staked out yourself as to the area that you plan to serve. <coughs> The city of Statesboro and I'm meeting with the county on November 29th. We, we were very clear with the county. We consider ourselves to be a partner of the county. We are not competitors with the county. We would, do, we would love no more than to just simply work with the county to, for, the, for the greater good of our entire county. We believe if we work together, we could extend water and sewer down 67 to I-16. Uh, that, that seems to be the next logical boom, but based on those maps, we would go to a point and then we would stop, and basically that would end our ability to get, get to I-16. So this morning, um, we are, again, beginning the conversation with the county. Again, we'd love to work with them. We'd love to partner with them. We met with them on November 29th. The mayor and I met with the county manager uh, in January, early February. Again, we laid out these same areas uh, that, that we would like to serve. One thing that we want to be clear about, uh, the city is not interested in just running sewer without water. Water and sewer go together. It is more expensive for us to extend sewer. <laughs> and so we need to be able to pair those two uh, and, and so uh, to that point, we, we just wouldn't be interested in just running sewer down to I-16. But we would like to work with the county if, if they would like to work with us. Uh, the other thing that is in this uh, SDS, and we discussed it at, at our retreat, we do have interest from Brooklyn to uh, have some sewer capacity uh, for their community. And so at some point in the next several weeks, you, we will, staff is working on the IGA with our Brooklet. And so if you're going to, when you amend the SDS, we would recommend that you go ahead and acknowledge the fact that we are going to, um, that we plan to work with Brooklet to provide a place where we will uh, 
provide a connection for them to have capacity in our sewer system. Uh, and with that, I think the, the uh, SDS is pretty self-explanatory, um, but I wanted to have this chance just to, again to say, the city of Statesboro looks forward to working with uh, Bullock County. We look forward to continued conversations. We, we look forward to uh, moving Bullock County and Statesboro forward and, and making this a, a great place to live, work, and play for the citizens of Statesboro and Bullock County. Uh, and our city attorney may have something to add, Mayor, but I uh, apologize for such a lengthy discussion, but I want to share that with you. That's fine. Can you have anything else to add to that? Nothing to add, Mayor. If y'all have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them now. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over to council. Uh, are there any uh, discussion points or comment call questions? Uh, I, did, I did want to make a, a couple of comments about some of the terms we're using. As far as the U county's utility district, that's a proposed utility district. It's, they don't have a utility district, they don't have any pipes, they don't have any wells, they have nothing as far as a water system. They don't even have a design yet. So it's just a proposed district. It doesn't exist yet. Uh, also, I, I, I do want to just point out to the, to the folks, our public, SDS stands for Service Delivery Strategy. Strategy is the key there. And the SDS is what, what is called a negotiated agreement. Right? It means the parties that are involved should sit down and discuss mm -hmm. the agreement. Now, the SDS proposal that was passed by the county two weeks ago was done so with absolutely zero negotiation with the county seat and the largest city, half the population of the county. And they didn't even come to us to negotiate a negotiated agreement and to write a strategy for our community. I, I, I appreciate how diplomatic Mr. Penny is being because if I was giving that proposal the speech, I would not have been so diplomatic. The city has been very, uh, for the last 15 years, you said that Bruce Young Park would not exist if it was not for the, the what we did and, and, and the actions we took and to continue to be discounted by the county and ignored and not negotiated with has got to end now and today so that's i appreciate your work on this i appreciate what we're doing but i just wanted folks to know it's a service delivery strategy it's a no negotiated agreement it's just, we're supposed to be working together that's what the, the law was written for so counties and cities should be working together and not working at odds We've been constantly working on it, and that's got to change, or we're going to get blown away by the rest of these communities. Thank you. Sorry to pontificate. Didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> Any further discussion of uh, questions from council? Mr. Mayor, I will say that I um, appreciate your highlighting the fact that it's a strategy, uh, the service delivery strategy. This is what the state says we have to do, cities and counties have to work together and come up with a written strategy for how we're going to cover services that we offer our people. Um, and so it's an important opportunity for us to be clear. And I appreciate that staff and all the council have worked on this, talked about it, and tried to come up with what we think is in the best interest of the people of Statesboro as well as the county. So we don't want there to be an adversarial, competitive sort of an arrangement going on. We are very eager to work together to serve all the people of Statesboro and Bullock County. So thank you, staff, and thank you, council, for getting us one step closer to that by clearly put it, writing out, adopting this resolution that says what the city feels able and willing to do so that we work the county. We have to come to an agreement. The state requires it, so both parties have to come to an agreement. So we're making progress with that. We're getting it all written down in this resolution. So thank you, everybody, who helped make that happen. Any further discussion or question from council? Seeing that there is none, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. All right, let's move on to agenda item seven, consideration of a motion to approve contract in the amount of $24,567.40 with D Land Center Incorporated for Utility Relocation with the West Main Street Drainage Improvement Projects. This project is paid by 2018 T-Splice funds. 
Mayor, Mayor and Council, the only thing that I want to add, this is for the relocation of a gas main. Uh, and so we, we recommend approval of the contract. Okay. Any discussion by Council? Seeing that there is none, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Let's move down to agenda item eight. Consideration of a motion to approve contract in the amount of $260,470.18 with Wydell's Incorporated for Lydia Lane Hart Street Stormwater Drainage Improvements. This project will be paid with the Stormwater Enterprise Funds. Mr. Mayor, members of the council, this is a stormwater uh, management project, a storm drainage improvement uh, on also the property. An area off East Main Street has been prone to flooding, uh, and this this will help improve that area for the folks that live in that area. I would say that <clears throat> this has been it's almost like an old record when I have to say this for the past I want to say eight months. Um, the bid is about a hundred thousand dollars more than what we had anticipated, um, but that is the 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 um, conditions under which we're living right at this point. And so we would recommend uh, th that the council approve the contract as submitted to you. Any discussion by council? <clears throat> Seeing that there is no a motion to approve. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? All right. We'll move down to agenda item nine, consideration of a motion to award a purchase. Of 500 water meter boxes and heading to Delta Municipality Supply in the amount of $48,125 to be purchased with funds approved in the 2023 operating budget funded with system revenues. Mayor, 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 members of the council, we recommend <coughs> approval. We need these water meter boxes uh, with all the building that's going to go on. We mm -hmm. uh, expect to, to make good use of them. And, and again, with supply chain uh, issues, we need to go ahead and place that order, so we recommend approval. All right. Thank you, Mr. Bain. All right. Any discussion by council? Seeing that there is none, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. All right. All right. Let's move down to agenda item 10, other business from city council. Is there any other business from city council? Um, are you looking at me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I always have something else to talk about. Uh, but today what comes to mind to highlight is the fact that we're having a fiesta downtown. Alan, tell us what's going to happen Friday night. Thank First you, Friday. Sherry. You're our public service announcer. And I appreciate <laughs> that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's just it, we uh, it's one of our events that we're working on. Uh, appreciate the city's help in this. Fiesta de Mayo, so it's our uh, kind of our version of a Cinco de Mayo, but kid friendly and family friendly. Not that those other ones aren't. And uh, so we always want you to come down. A lot of vendors, a lot of food trucks we have. Uh, got a DJ, so it'll be a lot of fun. Just come and uh, don't eat. Come down here and eat, and just hang out, and you'll see. I'm sure you'll see somebody you know and have a good time. So thank you for all you do. Thank you. It's kind of a festival of our Hispanic and Latin influences, and all of our neighbors help us celebrate that culture as well. Yeah, it's a good event. Okay, anything else? I think that's it. Thank you. Well, I, I do want to send a shout out to Demetrius uh, and Warren Burrow. Uh, for the beautiful, beautiful uh, Longest Table event that they had this weekend. Um, if you have not participated in the Longest Table, I highly suggest that you do. Uh, it's a great opportunity, not just to get some good food, um, but to sit down and have some great conversation uh, with good people. And, and that's really the narrative that we really wanted to push in our community us working to build bridges and build better community and the longest table uh exemplified that and in demetrius I, I think i think we had over 200 people show up for that that's correct okay okay good deal it, it was a lot of people it looked like it was more than what it was the first time so um but with that being said um i definitely definitely encourage everyone to be a part of that uh and i want to thank demetrius uh olympia was there doing her thing um, I don't know if there's any other staff. I know my interns were there. Lane. Lane was there. Oh, yeah, that's right, Lane. I'm so used to Lane. <laughs> uh, but the, the staff, the whole team, uh, that, that commission is really doing some great work. So we definitely want to thank y'all uh, for their work. Oh, yeah, and public works. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but with that being said, everybody um, just want to say thank you uh, and appreciate the love and heart that you have for the community. Um, we'll move down to city manager comments. 
Thank you, Mayor. I have a number of items this morning. First thing I want to do is make sure and uh, all of you have calendar invites. Uh, we're at that time of the year where we have to prepare our budget. Mm -hmm. uh, and so on May the 9th at 2 o'clock p.m. in the council chamber, uh, that is our budget work session. Uh, so hope Mayor and Council everyone will be there for that. It's a crit very critical budget as we prepare. Um, second item I want to call to your attention in the uh, FYI packet. Uh, at the last meeting, uh, we had some, y'all voted about precinct relocation. Mm -hmm. There's a memo in there from um, uh, Shante, uh, the, um, the head of the uh, election, board of election. They have a meeting on May the 8th at 1.30 p.m. The board will make a, supposed to make a decision mm -hmm. on the possible relocation. That item will come back before you on May the 16th. We've advertised that. And so um, I'm just saying 1.30 on May 8th would be if anybody has a chance to attend and might want to consider doing that. Um, in the FY packet, there's also a memo in there from Don Poe, Feed the Borough, mm -hmm. uh, and they they have some more events planned in the month of, of May, I think May 20th, uh, and I think they'll pass that $1.5 million, $1 million bill bar uh, mm -hmm. in our community. But they also, he also asked uh, the council to consider partnering with Feed the Borough again, and last year, I think he did, three or four, mm -hmm. uh, food, you paid with three or four food drops mm -hmm. at $1,500 a piece. And so this morning, I just wanted to inquire from council, uh, the cost has gone up from 1500 to 2500 And so uh, is the council interested in um, uh, an agreement with Feed the Borough uh, for how you don't have to do four food drops, but uh, so that we can make sure we cover include that in our budget so if y'all would just give me some indication of your interest yeah i'm definitely want to support yeah okay uh -huh. so uh -huh. mr Pee, one question we might raise i understand there's been discussion about moving them out to the fairgrounds rather than the high school so i would be interested in hearing what the plans are in the future because it's a lot harder for some of our food insecure folks to get that far out so i would want to hear that it was going to be in town and more accessible no, that, that, that's not, that we, we experimented with that, but that's not going to continue. Thank you. Thank you. Tricia, verify. <laughs> okay. But all, the, all the things you said, yes. Okay. Good. Hearing that, yes, I'm in favor of mm -hmm. negotiating to support at least a couple of them. Okay. Uh, so next item I have uh, has to do with the art park. Uh, and we've been working on this art park. The staff has been working on it for a while. And we are at a place that um, there's some important letters that need to go in the art park. Uh, and so this morning, I want to ask uh, the council to authorize me to place the order for the lettering, the lettering that will go in the mm -hmm. art park. And the reason I'm doing that is because there's a lead time to get that done. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so if we wait a couple of things, we think the cost is going to be about $40,000 for that couple of things that we've done, uh, DSDA has prepared or is prepared uh, a TAD application. So we can use some TAD funds, uh, that would be helpful. And so that'll be coming back to you in, in the very near future. And if and depending upon the cost, we may have to um, supplement that with um, general fund dollars. But this morning, um, because of the amount of the cost, I'm asking council to approve a motion to authorize me to place the order for the, the lettering so that we can go ahead and do that. And so that's what I'm asking for. Okay. All right, any discussion by council? Is that the borough? Yes. Oh, yes, I like that. When you say lettering, you're talking about the statue looking mm -hmm. big background mm -hmm. thing yes. that says borough on it. Yes. That costs $40,000? Mm -hmm. The lettering and the foundation that supports it. Sounds like a lot, but everything does. <laughs> is, it really is it? Is it a motion to approve? So moved. So is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you. Is that it? Um, yeah. 
Thank you. Right, we're going to open it up for any public comments at this time. Are there any public comments? Okay. Seeing that there is none, uh, we're going to move down to agenda item 13, which is consideration of a motion to enter into executive session. Uh, today's issues will be personnel and potential litigation. Is there a motion to go into executive session? So mm -hmm. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. When is the uh, uh, 